Marilyn Monroe was one of the most iconic and glamorous stars of Hollywood, but her love life was often complicated and tumultuous. She had three marriages and several affairs with famous men, some of which are still shrouded in mystery and controversy. Marilyn's first husband was Jim Doherty, a classmate at Van Nuys High School, whom she married in 1942 when she was 16 years old and still known as Norma Jean Baker. Their relationship began to fall apart when Doherty joined the Merchant Marines and she started modeling. They divorced in 1946, and Doherty later said, if I hadn't gone into the Merchant Marines during World War II, she would still be Mrs. Doherty today. Marilyn's second husband was Joe DiMaggio, a baseball legend who played for the New York Yankees. They met in 1952 after DiMaggio asked a friend to set him up on a date with Monroe, who was a rising Hollywood star at the time. They married in January 1954 at San Francisco's City Hall, but their marriage lasted only nine months. They split up after DiMaggio became jealous of Monroe's professional role choices and obligations, and reportedly abusive towards her. However, they remained friends until Monroe's death, and DiMaggio arranged her funeral and sent roses to her crypt for twenty years. Marilyn's third and final husband was Arthur Miller, a renowned playwright and author of The Crucible and Death of a Salesman. They met in 1951 through director Elia Kazan, who was one of Monroe's lovers. They married in June 1956 in a civil ceremony, followed by a Jewish ceremony two days later. Their marriage was troubled by Miller's infidelity, Monroe's miscarriages, and her addiction to drugs and alcohol. They divorced in January 1961, and Miller later wrote a play called After the Fall, which was widely seen as a thinly veiled account of his relationship with Monroe. Besides her three husbands, Monroe had many other lovers and rumored flings with famous men and women. Some of them include Charlie Chaplin Jr., the son of the legendary comedian, whom Monroe allegedly dated in 1947 and caught him cheating on her with his brother Sidney. Milton Burley, the comedian and TV star, who claimed to have had a brief affair with Monroe in 1948 when he was dating film star Adele Jurgens. He also starred with Monroe in Let's Make Love in 1960. Natasha Lytus, Monroe's drama coach whom she met in 1948 when she signed a contract with Columbia Pictures. They were very close and lived together for a while, sparking rumors of a lesbian relationship. Lytus was hostile to Monroe's male suitors, especially DiMaggio. Marlon Brando, the actor and sex symbol, who had a one-night stand with Monroe in 1955 after meeting her at the actor's studio. He later said that she was one of the most tender people he ever knew. Frank Sinatra, the singer and actor, who had an on-and-off affair with Monroe from 1954 to 1962. He reportedly proposed to her several times, but she refused. He also introduced her to his friend John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy, the President of the United States, who allegedly had a secret affair with Monroe in 1962. They met at a dinner party hosted by Peter Lawford, Kennedy's brother-in-law and Monroe's co-star in Some Like It Hot. Their relationship is one of the most speculated topics in history, especially after Monroe sang Happy Birthday to him at Madison Square Garden. Robert F. Kennedy, the Attorney General and brother of John F. Kennedy, who also allegedly had a secret affair with Monroe in 1962. He supposedly visited her at her home several times before and after her death. Marilyn Monroe died on August 5, 1962, at the age of 36 from an overdose of bar.